Hi everybody, thank you for watching my video on physics. In this video, we shall explain latent heat of fusion and latent heat of vaporization in terms of molecules. Let's recall that all matters are made of atoms or molecules. At any temperature above the absolute zero, molecules are not at rest. Click the links in the description below. Click heat 1.4 molecules in a solid. In a solid, molecules are vibrating about their equilibrium position. They cannot move freely from one place to another. As temperature increases, the molecules vibrate faster. Clearly, an increase in temperature will increase the kinetic energy of the molecules. Also, recall that internal energy is the sum of kinetic energy and potential energy of the molecules. Since an increase in temperature will increase the kinetic energy of the molecules, the internal energy U of the object will also increase. Mathematically, it is expressed as Q equal to m times c times delta t, where Q represents the change in internal energy delta U, that is Q equal to delta U. m represents the mass, c represents the specific heat capacity, and delta t represents the change in temperature. Let's link up all the things together. An increase in temperature will increase the kinetic energy of the molecules or the internal energy of the object. How about phase change? When an object melts or vaporizes, latent heat must be supplied while the temperature remains constant at melting point or boiling point. Since temperature remains constant, the kinetic energy of the molecules does not change, but the internal energy is increasing. What kind of energy of the molecule is increased during melting or vaporization? Pause the video for a while and answer the question. Please press the space bar to pause the video for a while and write down your answer. Since the internal energy of an object is the sum of the kinetic energy and potential energy of the molecules, if the internal energy increases but the kinetic energy of the molecules remains unchanged, then the potential energy of the molecules must have increased it. What is potential energy? If you have two magnets sticking to each other, you need energy to separate them. The energy supplied to the magnets is called potential energy. After separation, when the magnets are released, they will hit each other, producing a sound. Here, the stored potential energy is converted into sound. Similarly, when you scratch a rubber band, you increase its potential energy so that when it is released, it will fly away. Another example is raising a book. Raising a book from the table will also increase its potential energy because when the book is released, it will hit the table with a loud sound. Scientists believe that molecules attract each other with an intermolecular force, similar to the force between two metals. In a solid, the molecules attract each other strongly so that they cannot separate easily. In addition to this, Molecules in a solid are arranged in a lattice structure so that the molecules are vibrating about their fixed positions. Energy is needed to break down the lattice structure, just like energy is needed to break down a house. After the solid is melted into a liquid, the molecules are free to move. Look at the simulation. Note that the molecules in a liquid are still closely padded. The latent heat of fusion increases the potential energy of the molecules. Since the kinetic energy of the molecule does not change, melting takes place at a constant temperature, which we call melting point. Let's look at the change graphically. When a piece of ice taken out of a freezer is heated, before it melts, its temperature increases from minus 8 degrees Celsius. The increase in temperature is explained by the increase in kinetic energy of the water molecules. When the ice reaches 0 degrees Celsius, it begins to melt. The temperature remains constant, so do the kinetic energy of the molecules. The latent heat of fusion is used to break down the lattice structure, increasing the potential energy of the water molecules. When a liquid vaporizes, the volume increases. During the process, the molecule changes from closely packed to widely separated. Energy is needed to separate the molecules against the intermolecular force. This explains why latent heat of vaporization is needed to vaporize a liquid. For example, a beaker of water inside a pool of boiling water will not boil because the boiling water and the water inside the beaker do not have a temperature difference large enough to provide the latent heat of vaporization for the water inside the beaker to boil. The latent heat of vaporization is used to separate the water molecules against the intermolecular force, increasing the potential energy of the water molecules. During boiling, the temperature of the water remains constant at 100 degrees Celsius, so is the kinetic energy of the molecules. Only the potential energy of the molecule increases, 
which is the latent heat of vaporization. We know that when liquid water changes into a gas, its volume increases by about 1,600 times. Can we say that the size of the water molecule increases by 1,600 times? If not, why is the volume increased? Pause the video for a while and answer the question. Please press the space bar now to pause the video and write down your answer. It is important to note that the size of molecules is always the same and is independent of temperature. When water vaporizes, the bonds that hold the molecule closely packed in liquid are broken. Therefore, they can move freely at high speed. We may use a balloon to trap the molecules, but we cannot stop their motion. The molecules keep colliding with the balloon so that the balloon has a volume very large compared to the size of the molecules. In other words, a gas is mainly empty space with a certain amount of gas molecules moving at high speed. The collision of the molecules with the container gives rise to the volume of the gas which is 1600 times larger than the gas molecule. Expansion of an object by heating is explained in a similar way. When a solid is heated, the molecule will be faster. This causes the spacing between the molecules to increase. But it is important to note that the sizes of the molecule do not increase. In summary, latent heat is involved in phase change. During a phase change, the temperature remains constant. Therefore, the kinetic energy of the molecules remains constant. Latent heat increases the potential energy of the molecules because during a phase change, the structure of the molecules or the separation between the molecules will change. Question for discussion. When a solid sublimates to form a gas, how do we calculate the latent heat? Should we use latent heat of fusion or latent heat of vaporization or both? Explain your answer in terms of molecules. Be the first to write your answer in the comments below. You are welcome to comment on the answer of other people. I hope this video can help you understand more about latent heat and molecules. Thank you for watching.